So in this video, I'm gonna tell you my first impressions on this big boy right here. Let's go straight to the video. Hey, what's up? It's always me, Johnny. And today we're gonna talk about the Mi 11 Ultra. So another of the Ultra smartphone that came out right now in 2021. And this is very, very interesting because as you all already know, we have this big camera bump right here. It is gigantic and it is very, very interesting. But first of all, let's talk about of the phone overall. So for the first thing, I'm going to talk about the design of this phone and it is pretty standard. I mean, it is a big phone, like pretty much any other phone right now, any other new phone. I mean, yes, the camera bump, it is very, very big and I've showed this device to also my friends and other people and somebody says that it is pretty cool and other says that it sucks i am in the cool part of it so i found it very very cool when i saw it in photos i was like yeah it is not very good but in person it is very very cool and actually i've took the white version because the black one it was pretty standard so i didn't like it too much because I usually take a black version every time on anything but this time I've decided to go for white and it is it is very very cool in person it is also better and let's remind that this is not glass but this is ceramic it gives to the phone that high price look and it is well built I mean it is a top phone so it is pretty standard also the fact that this is ceramic and you have this big camera bump right here and the phone is very very big it is also very very heavy so keep that in mind because if you are carrying this around you can feel it because it is uh, pretty much a big a big boy and you have pretty much everything that you have in standard mi 11 so if you haven't seen my review just check the link right here and also you have like ir blaster on the top if you are interested to that and we have double speaker on the bottom and on the top of the phone this is also a collaboration with Harman and Cardon so we will talk about sound later and actually we have a big screen on the front and we have like a small hole punch on the top left corner of the phone and of course in the camera bump on the back we have also the screen that you can just double tap it and it will turn on and I'm gonna talk about that uh, later because it is interesting but we have to see a little bit more later so as I was saying the display it is a very very good display it is very bright also under the sunlight and of course it is quad HD so resolution is okay you have 120 Hz of refresh rate you have high speed on the touch frequency so it is pretty much on the top if is probably uh, the top display that you can find on a smartphone right now and talking about the screen under the screen of course we have the optic fingerprint sensor under the display it is working pretty good I think it is uh, for now one of the best but um, I have to say but because I've just received the MIUI 12.5 on the Mi 11 that you can see on the back right there and it is faster now so I'm gonna have to compare it <laughs> because now I think it is uh, much faster than this one but we have to see also after this one we'll receive the MIUI 12.5 so I'm gonna tell you right now that as I said the display it is very very good but uh, I have some issues with the automatic brightness because sometimes it is too dim and sometimes it doesn't brighten at the max uh, under the sunlight. I don't know why is that because I just compared it to my Mi 11 actually and the Mi 11 it is more visible under the sunlight and this is pretty strange because this one it has an higher peak brightness under the sunlight so uh, strange fact as I said before we have double speaker it is Harman and Cardon collaboration so the sound is pretty good you can hear it very well it is very very loud actually I think uh, for now the louder smartphone it was the S21 Ultra because it, it was very very loud 
but this one it is similar or maybe the same and so the sound quality it is great really and actually on the Mi 11 the sound quality it is good but this one it's a little bit more uh, louder so very good on this side so talking about the performance we have of course 12 gigabytes of ram on this one 256 gigabytes of storage and the snapdragon 888 of course so you don't have pretty much any issue on performance of course because you have the top of the top so if you have that on that I mean you don't need to have it because it is blazing fast so you don't have pretty much any problem on that side but then the performance is not everything because without a good software it could be pretty much a waste of performance I think on this one is the case because I've noticed a lot of bug on this Mi 11 Ultra that I didn't find on any other Xiaomi. I have the Mi 11 and didn't find any major bug like this because here I have many many bugs on software. I mean the brightness, also sometimes some apps just crashes and maybe sometimes the fingerprint sensor doesn't work very well. So I don't know why is that, but I think they've just released this phone in some kind of a beta version like everybody does right now. And so we have to wait. I think if you if you want to buy this phone right now, I think it's better for you to wait the MIUI 12.5 that comes out on this phone because you can have some issues uh, here and there. And also one important thing, you have the issue of the proximity sensor on this one that I didn't have on my Mi 11 right, right here. I mean, I don't have it. So keep that in mind because the software on this device is still developing. And actually talking about that, we will talk about a little bit of the uh, screen on the back of this phone, because for now it is pretty much a useless screen because you can just see the time and actually you can see a little dot right here. I don't know if you can see it. So that little red dot it just indicates you that you have some notification on the phone so it's pretty much useless if you have like spotify running you can just change the song and actually play and pause the song somewhat useful but you have of course to have your phone like on the back right here i don't know it's pretty much useless the only useful feature that it has for now it is the real display preview on the photo side because you can take like photos and you can see the preview on the little screen and this is very useful because if you want to take a selfie or a group selfie it is very very useful because you will not miss any subject and also you will just shoot the photo with the maximum of quality and that is a great thing but right here we have another but because you cannot use it for video and this is a big loss i don't know why is not that yet because if somebody maybe wants to wants to vlog or maybe if someone wants to record some videos of themselves that feature could be very very useful but they haven't got it yet then talking about the battery side on this phone i mean it is a very very big phone and of course you have a big battery and you have right here a 5000 milliampere battery it is pretty big for the standards but it just lasts the same of the other top smartphone and i mean it does the same of the s21 ultra it does the same of my mi 11 it does the same of the oneplus 9 pro it is pretty much similar to others you can do from four hours and a half on screen time if you if you are using this phone like heavier and you can do also like five or five and a half hours of screen time if you are using like with wi-fi and light usage maybe you can also do like six hour but for now i still didn't get it one more thing that i want to add on the build quality of this phone is just something that i never say on my videos and on this first impression videos it is the optic and so the vibration motors on this phone that if you are interested into that if you are someone who just care for optics and maybe if you are riding with vibration i can tell you that it is great i mean it's very very accurate and it is very very strong so if you are one of those users that care about the optics on this phone you can find like a very very good experience i've tried also the iphones they are pretty similar 
and so we have like great motors right here i suggest to try it because it it is very good then last thing that i want to say right here is the camera side on this phone so the most interesting thing that we have right here and you can see it is pretty big we have like three sensors because one is main sensor one is ultra wide and one is the 5x zoom uh, you have like a periscope module so very very interesting you have pretty much massive sensor right here they are very big and when you see this phone in person you will see that they are like very very big they are like uh, both 50 megapixel they are like half an inch i mean the main sensor is so it is very very big for a phone and i mean you can see it because it is just pretty much the half of this phone uh, all the camera bump stuff but i can tell you that i am still testing it this phone does really really good photo and good video of course like i do every time i will do like a specific video on the camera side of this phone so i will do a complete camera review because it is very very interesting and on this video too it will be like too long and so it will be like boring so i will do another video and the only thing that i can tell you is as i said that uh, this phone is doing like great great picture so if you are interested to that just don't forget to subscribe right now so you will not miss that video and so we can throw some conclusions right now and actually for me this phone it is uh, really an ultra phone because you have pretty much everything on top so top performance top screen top camera top everything but uh, we have to still wait for a good software because in this version as i said the miui it is not good i mean i always add xiaomi phones and they didn't have uh, that much problem like i have it on this one so i repeat if you are interested to buy this phone right now mm, just wait a little bit it is my suggestion because with a software update you will find this phone more interesting for sure because they will add many features and also they will get like uh, this second display with some more useful feature, I guess. Um, just talking about the video mirror on this display, it will be very, very useful for bloggers and some content creators. Also with the new updates, they will probably improve uh, a little bit more the battery. And this is a good thing. I mean, we have pretty much the same battery duration on every top smartphone, but if we can get something more, it will be always appreciated, of course. And somebody says to have like uh, overeating issue on this device and I don't have those issues. I mean, the phone gets warm in the back, but I mean, as I always say, you have this problem, we can say with every top smartphone because it is not the phone or the phone build quality but it is the snapdragon actually you have pretty much the same behavior that you have with all the top smartphone right now not a big deal for me and this is not the major problem that you have for now on this phone but as i said if you want to see the camera review on this phone just leave a like right now and subscribe if you haven't already and of course thank you for watching this video i appreciate that and I think for now that's it, so I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.